first and foremost, the obvious hope would be that Ravens starting quarterback Lamar Jackson, he's healthy and he comes back and he plays against the Cleveland Browns. But since we all know that's not going to happen this week, uh, you would hope for the next best thing. And that is that Tyler Huntley, who is Ravens backup quarterback, who's Ravens number two quarterback, who wears number two, uh, that he would be healthy enough uh, to go against these Cleveland Browns and start for the Ravens this upcoming Saturday, not Sunday, Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. Don't forget. Um, and all signs are looking like it's going to be Tyler Huntley. Um, now, uh, just to take you back a week, uh, we remember when against the Steelers, Tyler Huntley was knocked out uh, of the game in the third quarter. A big hit by Minkah Fitzpatrick that ended his game a little bit early. Uh, went to the medical tent, then he ended up going to the locker room, never returned. Uh, but Tyler Huntley, so it, it was a little iffy. His status of, in this next game was iffy. Uh, I was, I didn't think he was going to play in it. I thought it was going to be Anthony Brown. Uh, but it's looking like Tyler Huntley may actually be good to go. Now, on Tuesday, the Ravens did a, a walkthrough practice, so nothing physical or anything like that. Um, and in the walkthrough practice, like we spoke about yesterday, Tyler Huntley was a limited participant. Um, so he was there. He was present. Uh, but when they do a walkthrough practice and they give you the injury status and the injury designation, it's more of an estimation. Like, say, for instance, if it was a game that day, even though it wasn't a game that day, and if they had a real practice that day more so. If, if it was a real practice that day, then that would have been his status. He would have been limited in practice, but it wasn't a real practice, but they still got to give you the, uh, the designation for the injury anyway. Um, but Wednesday, when they did have their first real practice, Tyler Huntley was a full, full, 100% complete participant. He was not limited at all like he was on Tuesday, but he was a full participant. So that is a great sign for the Ravens uh, this coming Saturday. Uh, that it, so it's, it's looking like Tyler Huntley is going to be good to go, especially because if, if he's coming off a concussion, and then hopefully, again, the Ravens are playing this safe. Hopefully the concussion, hopefully they just took him out the game because maybe he showed some signs or something, that, but, but minor signs and it wasn't anything crazy because I wouldn't think – that the Ravens would rush Tyler Huntley back from a concussion. I mean, I would hope not. Hope that they wouldn't rush anybody anybody back from a concussion. Uh, but um, it, it's looking like he's going to be good to go. Uh, because I wouldn't expect him to go from a walkthrough practice, to be limited at a walkthrough practice, to a full participant in a Wednesday practice. And, and then his status go down from there. Now, it's looking like all signs are pointing up uh, in a positive way for Tyler Huntley. And this... Oof, this is a <laughs> this is gonna be a tough game too. It's gonna be a tough game because while the Browns have been struggling, they ain't really been looking good. And we know Deshaun Watson, he's back as well. Um, the Browns, this is still Ravens versus Browns. It's still a division game, and, and Ravens they sitting at three and zero in the division right now. Like they they beat the Steelers, they beat the Browns early, and they beat the Bengals. And of course, they got to play uh, those three teams once again in these last couple of weeks of the season. But Ravens are like, they in a real good position right now uh, in the AFC North. And I mean, really in the AFC overall uh, with their standings. I think, what are they still right, right now, like the third seed? And that's crazy. That, that, that is crazy to think about that. Like Ravens sitting that high after everything that they've been through, after all just the issues that they got on the team for them to be sitting where they at. That's a beautiful thing. Um, and when you, when you are sitting pretty like that, especially at this point in the season, this is December football, it can make you do some questionable things. It can make you really uh, put pressure on yourself to, to rush some injured guys back if they're not all the way. Um, but with Tyler Huntley, again, you hope that there are no setbacks, there are no issues. And, I mean, so far, so good. Uh, and I expect the rest of the week to play out just so. Uh, with Tyler Huntley getting a start because another thing too I um I would definitely expect Tyler Huntley to start because if the Ravens had any doubt uh, of him starting then it would be foolish in my opinion to have him out there taking the starting practice reps if he wasn't even going to start if that was the case if he wasn't going to start then you would want to have uh, Anthony Brown out there 
uh, taking the reps with the with the starters because so he can get more acclimated with them. He can get more used to them. He could start to build up as much chemistry as he possibly can. Because it, it would be counterproductive if Tyler Huntley wasn't starting. It would be counterproductive to have him out there taking the reps as a starter. It just wouldn't make any sense at all. So um, yeah, is Tyler Huntley? He, he's probably gonna be good to go. Uh, so this is good news. This is good news. It's always nice uh, getting good news from an injury standpoint when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens because, again, I got to go back to last year. We, <laughs> we ain't get much good news from these Ravens last year when it came to injuries. And, again, literally every single week it was something. It was somebody. It was some issue every single week without fail. Y'all remember the, the injury reports? Y'all remember how long they were? It was like a whole roster full of injuries. It, it, it was just so bad. But this year, it's been a beautiful change because this year, almost every week, we hear news about somebody coming back. We hear news about somebody making a return. We hear news about somebody getting healthy. And then on top of that, like we, we got guys that are apparently healthy and we still waiting on them to play they ain't even played yet because guys like uh charlie Kolar, who had the um the, i think the hernia surgery so that took him out for a little while that slowed down his rookie season and we still been waiting on him to make his debut but i mean ravens they they pretty much set it tight and they got mark andrews they got likely they got josh oliver who's been a pleasant surprise um Nick Boyle, they, I mean, they have him, but do they really have him? Because they, I don't know what the, the, the whole status is with him. It's been weird. It's been really weird with Nick Boyle this season. How they been using him, but really not using him. And just, it, it's been super weird. Um, so, is there really a place for Charlie Kolar? Um, I don't know. Uh, but, so we'll see. And as far as David Ajabo, that's another one. The Ravens second round pick who tore his Achilles in his pro at his pro day. Uh, we still been waiting on him. And again, he's been practicing. He's been practicing for a long time. They got had him on the active roster, got him on there. Uh they just been they haven't activated him for a game yet. He hasn't made his debut yet. Um and I almost feel like and, and I, I did say before the season even started, I did say anything that the Ravens get out of David Ojabo this year, it's a bonus. It's it's an added bonus. Um but I feel like with him being on the active roster Whenever he does make his debut, if he does make his debut this year, if he does end up playing this year, I feel like every week that passes, I feel like it's like more and more like pressure almost. I feel like it's pressure like building up because it's like, especially by fans more so because they're just waiting and wondering like, okay, when is David Ajabo going to play? All right, this is second round pick, David Ajabo, is he going to play this year? It's like every week we, we, we wait at 11.30 before the game when the game's at 1 p.m. At 11.30 a.m. when that, that, uh, the, the roster actives and actors comes out, we're like, all right, is this going to be the week? Is this going to be the week? Then we keep seeing David Ajabo on the inactive list. It's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. But at the same time, it's nice to know that with pass rush, and this is like so weird to say as a Ravens fan, it's, it's, like, it's kind of crazy. But right now a pass rush – the Ravens are actually in a pretty good spot. The pass rush has actually, they've been producing. Like, and that, that's crazy. Because we've known, like, for years, even when they were healthy, even when the Ravens were healthy, pass rush had continued to be an issue a lot. It had always been an issue for the longest. Really, ever since, ever since Suggs left. Ever since Suggs left. The Ravens' pass rush has been a big issue since Suggs left. So Darius Smith, left. ooh, I know that one stinks too, but it's been. But right now, it's it's not an issue. This year, it it has been pretty good. It's been pretty good, and that has been just such a bright spot uh, on this team. And this team, I think, got a lot of bright spots, especially on defense. Um, defense really been doing their thing. They really been holding it down. But I mean, that's expected because that's where a lot of Ravens investments are. Um, but for and for the most part, they've been paying off. They've been paying off. Um, but back to the whole the, the injuries. Um, it, it's nice to for the Ravens to be in the spot that they're in this year, especially a pole because it's like polar opposites. It's polar opposites. Um, and then any day now, like <laughs> the Ravens get their guy back. Lamar Jackson. So we still waiting on like that's the, that'd be the ultimate return. Now I know there's some people thinking that oh well since Lamar he doesn't have a contract yet 
then he's not going to come back and play for the Ravens this year. I've been seeing a lot of people say that, and I, I, I could understand why they think that. I disagree. I don't. I don't think that he'll sit out this season uh, because of the contract. Because again, he said early on this year, he said I mean, before the year started, "Hey, if we come to a contract agreement by week one, cool. If not, I ain't talking about it no more. I ain't talking about it no more." So why would him sitting out because of the contract? That would be contract negotiations. That would, be, that would be part of contract negotiations. Why would he sit out at this point because he's injured? Why would he sit out now um, as, opposed to not, uh, as opposed to sitting out for, from the beginning of the season? I just I don't understand why he would do that now just because he doesn't have a contract. Are you get what I'm saying? So I, I don't see him sitting out for the rest of this year. Um, hopefully, and I don't think it is, but hopefully it's, it's different from last year with his injury. Because I think last year for, with his injury, I think Harbaugh said it was like week to week. Uh, and then we never saw him all play again. Um, but this, this, this injury said it's week to week as well. But it's supposed to be like a one to three week injury. So, again, we'll see. But I, I think he'll come back, especially given the situation like we talked about earlier, where the Ravens are sitting at right now. They're sitting at nine and four, number three in the AFC. Like, come on now. Like, who... Who would want to, I just don't see Lamar wanting to squander this opportunity uh, to come back on this Ravens team and hopefully make some noise in the playoffs. Like, why would he be, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit this out. No, you're going to want to get out there. When you're healthy, you're going to want to get out there and play. You're going to want to get out there and, and really try to make something happen with your team, with the position that they're in. Especially, you got Ronnie Stanley back. Hopefully, he stays back because we know how it's been with Ronnie Stanley. It's like, you get him back and it's like, yes, let's go. And then he goes out. And you get him back and it's like, yes, let's. And so hopefully Ronnie Stanley will be good to go for the rest of the year. But for the first time this year, um, Lamar will have both. When he comes back, he should have both J.K. and Gus Edwards back. And that's huge, man. That's huge. Especially in a running game because with if you can have, if you can take pressure, alleviate pressure off of your starting quarterback as a runner. And have more options in the running game and more quality options in the running game. You got J.K., you got Gus, and you still got Drake, too. And you got Justice Hill. So, and then, of course, Ronnie Stanley. That, that's another quality option in the running game because he makes the running game what it is. When he's out there, is I know I say, y'all have all seen the statistic where when Ronnie Stanley's out there, Ravens produce so much more uh, in the running game. So much more. Um, so if Lamar could get all those things back, oh yeah, that, that alleviates a lot of pressure off of him. And it puts more pressure on defenses because defenses, they got to watch for JK, Gus, Drake, uh, for Justice Hill, any chances he would get, but then they also got to watch for Lamar and it's just, it, it makes it more dynamic. And, and that's what you want on offense. You want your offense to be as dynamic as it possibly can be. So I, that's why I just I don't see Lamar sitting out for the rest of this year um, just because he don't got a contract. To me, I, it doesn't it wouldn't make any sense to me. But I, I can see kind of why some people would think that. But I just I don't think that. So I would definitely expect him to see him uh, in about a week or two. Uh, so yeah, so let's see how it goes. But anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, and let's hope Tyler Huntley can get this thing done and they can take care of business against the Browns. Because if they can, like, to be, to, 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 to be sitting at 4-0, to, to have the, the possibility of 4-0 in the division, and that, that would mean the worst that you could, the worst that you could do would be 4-2. The worst that you could do in your division would be 4-2. And, and that ain't bad. I mean, obviously, you want to pull out the broom and you want to sweep your whole division. But if the worst that you could do after this game against the Browns, if the worst that you could do would be four and two, I think we would take that. Obviously, you want to be six and zero. Oh, obviously, um, but Ravens can just—they can put themselves in a really, really, really good position if they can win this game. Really, really good position. And and, and I mean, looking back, it's like you think about what could have been, what should have been. You think about the closeouts. You think about the Jaguars game. How they dropped it. And it's like. Drop that game. You think about the Dolphins game and how they dropped it. It's like, oh, these leads. You think about the Giants game and how they dropped it. It's like, oh, this lead. But the Bills game, they did drop it. They did have their, their little double-digit lead and whatnot. But um, 
the Bills game, it, it, it was pretty close. But they again, they did have a lead. I think they led at what, like 17 to 3 at one point. Um, but you think about all that, it's like, oh man, the way that they dropped those games. Um, but again, the fact that they're here right now and this is the position that they put themselves in, uh, they can still make some stuff happen and they can set themselves nicely uh, for playoff seeding and, and whatnot. And so, yeah, so we'll see how it goes, man. But anyway, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like it's not looking like Tyler Huntley is going to be this game. We out.